Hi guys, it's username K. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm riding the Sumra Miku Super. Now this thing is an electric bike. It's supposedly equivalent of a 125. Learner riders can use it. Commuters can use it. I'm going to jump on it. I think I'm going to take it off a bit of a, a rocky road up Rivington. And yeah, I will just chat to you along the way about what I think about it. Oh, trust me. Right, it's been glorious all day. The minute I get on the bike to go to Rivington, I'm greeted by rain. Okay, so I'm showing 78%, no, 79%, and we're going up a real, real steep hill here. Now, the maximum speed on the Sunra Miku Super is a reported 50 miles an hour. I have seen reviews where people are hitting that. So far, I've managed 49, but I am on 78%. And yeah, we're just, uh, just going on a little mooch at Rivington. I thought it was going to be a bit drier than this, so I'm a bit disappointed. Literally dry all day. Forecasted dry all day. Come out. Terrible. Mud in the road. It's never really confidence inspiring. So I've been given the Sun Rimiku Super for a couple of weeks. I've got a day off today, so I thought I'd film about my impressions of this little blighter. I can't believe I'm getting absolutely peppered with rain. Disappointing, so disappointing. Anyway, enough about my weather gripes. The bike. The bike is, as I mentioned, the Miku Super. So this is a reported equivalent of a 125. I'd probably say it's the equivalent of a slow 125 because I've been on 125s that can do like 90 miles an hour well 88 at a push so I suppose you could compare it to a very tame 125 clear introduce the power comes on pretty nice so 125 equivalent you can ride this on a CBT you can ride this on a full license so with this you have two lithium iron batteries which are directly underneath the tank you can charge these on a household plug and it'll be full charged within four hours reportedly which i don't think that's too bad a full charge is going to cost you 27p 27p bloody hell so i did get this bike on 100 percent charge however Mike has been taking liberties going to the corner shop so it has gone down okay so let's indicate let's brake oh the indicators make a nice little clickety click avoid the grid Ooh. so suspension's quite firm it's very quiet obviously being electric there's no engine noise the only real noise is the wind and of course I'm alone with my thoughts which is very dangerous clearly that guy is harder than vehicles go on lad uh oh a horse oh an actual horse like on the road Oh my goodness, that's probably one of the first times I've passed a horse on a bike and not disturb them or distress them at all. Which made my moral compass feel pretty good. Can you guys tell why I come up here? Look at the views. Oh. Having said that though, these roads are a bit bumpy for this suspension. It doesn't have much travel at the back specifically so it can be quite intense I've just gone for a back brake with my foot <laughs> but I don't have one because it's there 
so yeah full charge in four hours i think that's pretty good one of the things that's good about this bike as well is that you can actually remove the batteries and take them up to work with you if you work in an office or if you live in a place that doesn't have parking take the batteries with you to charge you gotta be joking me oh my god it's so freakishly quiet just bimble it along in fact i might just wait because the sky is just so slow God, it feels so eerie, so eerily quiet. So whilst I'm just stopped in the middle of the road waiting for this thing to shift, switch gear, you've got your lights there, your hazards there, you've got your indicators, they don't self-cancel and I have found myself pressing the horn a few times, but as I've got to ride it more, I've got to, you know, my hands just naturally gravitate a bit further up so I know that I'm hitting the indicator. You have got a reverse, so it just helps you weaseling and out of you know gaps that you need to back into and stuff um auto again that's about your lights so dipped auto lights you can see it change there um you've got your parking mode and then you've got your modes so you've got one restricts you to 30 two restricts you to 40 and three you've got 50 mile an hour usage You've got your battery status at the top. This has got two batteries. Mirror's pretty sturdy. Haven't had much complaints about them. The bike is very small. So if you're quite tall in stature, you might struggle. Off we go. Oh, this bugger up pretty fast, but I think we'll go for the overtake. Go on, Kate, let's dust him. Oh. <laughs> Bouncing all over, shall we? Uh? Trying to avoid the potholes, of which there are many. Trying to look ahead. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be bumpy. Oh. oh, Christ. Really working that suspension here. Sorry, Sunra. Might need the shocker servicing when, you, when it gets back to you. Oh, there's a fair few puddles that I'm not really going to be able to avoid here. Sloppy, sludgy, but look at that view. This is a completely legal lane, by the way. I'm not going to get into trouble being up here. Getting smiles from the old people, they love it. <laughs> Very sloppy there. Do you know what? It's a bit awkward vlogging on an electric bike because people can really hear you talking to yourself <laughs> oh christ on a stick uh, problem is i know it gets worse because i was recently up here with oxford products for a photo shoot so i know that it gets a lot worse ain't too bad this stretch let's go through the water who said electric and water don't mix probably the last person saying that I got electrocuted Oh. Tell you what, this is working my forearms. I've got a death grip. Oh. In a weird kind of way, this is quite therapeutic, if not perhaps a little stupid. 
Oh, Christ. Oh. Oh my days. What am I doing? What an absolute idiot. Let's go up here, sod it. Mike would be proud. Oh. Do I? Don't I? What if I get stuck? Do I be that person? Who gives it a go anyway? Let's assess it. Oh. Let's have a look. I ain't got the most off-road orientated tyres on these, have I? Didn't sound good. <laughs> Come on, Kate. Oh, yes, Mike taught me well. I feel like I'm on top of the world. Ugh. Tackle anything on these Mikus. Oh. Right. This road is menacing. It is just unrelenting. It's them little bumps, them little cobbles. I'll tell you what, use your brain. There we go. Hey. I don't think I use my brain here. How to bloody get up? Come on. Good lass. Come on. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh man, this is great. I'm really enjoying myself. Beautiful. Let's see if the stand will go down because it's quite a vertical stand you see so like the stand is there but it would just fall let's try here I mean it may well sink it seems like bloody quicksand oh, hey look at that picture time The mighty Miku Super taking on the barren roads at Rivington. You know what, this, this is a great spot for firework night, bonfire night. You literally come here, free firework display. If you're like me, you're tight as cramp, that's excellent. Right, so I'll just have another look at the Miku Super. So you've got these blue lights, which I think you can probably get away with those in the UK because they're on the side, perhaps. You've got this lovely futuristic looking light on the front. Nice big indicators so you can be seen, but they're not unsightly. pretty decent to be fair so another capability that this bike has or a feature should I say is fingerprint switching on and off as you can hear it's going access denied because I haven't set it up but it is an option you can download an app with the Miku Super and you can remote start it from the app you can use your fingerprint by doing it through the app and then it will switch on which is quite a good anti-theft device 
it's been really funny when I've been back in this uh, into the garage it comes with a, a little alarm and you can lock it and when you lock it it makes this cute little noise but then when you try to push it it does lock up like I can't push it forward because it locks up it makes a nice little woo woo sound in fact let me sit on it so it makes this noise I'm trying to move it I'm trying to push it <laughs> that is a cute sound but yeah so it does make a bit of a song and dance about stuff if somebody tries to nick it which is pretty cool i mean i'd probably end up dancing along to it mind but you all right hello it's a, uh, so it's sunra which is like a chinese company um it's electric, it's the equivalent of a, a very slow 125 so it tops out at 50 mile an hour yeah definitely weird with that floating seat <laughs> but yeah it's so bizarre because like I'm filming and I'm talking to myself and normally I'm like shouting over an engine but I'm just like alone with my thoughts <laughs> so it's quite weird yeah um, so they start, well they go for I think uh, 3,500 just under Yeah and then the 50cc equivalent which only does 30 mile an hour I think that goes for like 2,200 True Cool, nice chatting <laughs> Yeah So carrying on we go Shit. Oops. Oh, well, it's light enough to pick up. <laughs> Shit, the bed. Sorry, Sumra. I think you jinxed me when you said be careful. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no injury. We're all good. I just didn't expect that thing there. None? None at all? I'm actually well shocked. I know there's literally nothing. Yeah. I just didn't expect this to be like, woo. Yeah. Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. I bounce well. <laughs> Lever's not even bent. Way. 10 out of 10, Sunra. Still works. Well, I think I got a little bit overzealous. I'm absolutely not hurt in the slightest, which is the main thing. And the bike seems like it's got no damage. So I'd call that a success. Thank you. This bit is particularly treacherous. Okay, so I just had a little off. That was not ideal. But the bike is performing absolutely fine. It's like I haven't just thrown it sideways down a, a dirt track. So I'm pretty impressed so far. Um, I'm going to assess the damage when I get home, but I don't think there is any. So watch this space. I'll give it a wash off and see if there is actually any damage. If there's not, I've got away lightly with that one. Hey, I'm no itchy boots, am I? I've got a long way to go yet. <laughs> no, quite thankfully, I'm not injured. The bike's not injured. The only thing that's took a dent is my damn pride. That's so funny. If I hadn't panicked, it would have probably withstood it. <laughs> but I panicked. I flapped. I did the the key problem that you should never do. I went straight for the front brake. Come on, Kate. You know better than that. You damn fool. 
Oh, this is bump milk this. Oh, Christ. I might even paddle this with my feet. <laughs> okay, so two things that have been in this bike has made me realise about this bike, which is super positive. How easy was that to pick up by myself? Ridonculous. How resilient they are to damage. I didn't flood anything. I just literally put it in mode two. And off I went. Warranties. So the bike itself comes with a two year manufacturer warranty. The batteries come with a three year manufacturer's warranty or you covered up to 18,000 miles, whichever comes first. Hello. So realistically, with this range, with the power, who is this bike for? Well, I'll tell you who I think it's for. I think it's absolutely ideal for you know, 17 year olds, people that are on a CBT or even late learners to bikes. You know, you can be 40 with a CBT, I appreciate that. But as somebody that's very new to bikes, rev and rip, no gears, no clutches, keeps Greta happy, keeps the horses happy too. I've got a nice big hill coming up. Who else do I think this bike is suited for? definitely commuters people that have a you know maybe a 14 mile commute to work or or even a 20 mile commute to work and i think that because you've got two batteries so when you get to work you know it's 27p for a full charge i mean if your employer wants to dock your wage i'm so i'm sure they can thank you but it's cheap to run. 3,500 for this. It's good fun. You know, it's pretty good acceleration for what it is. I've got it in mode two. Just put it in mode three. I felt a surge of acceleration then. So far, I've had an absolute blast today. Even coming off, it's all part of it. I've not hurt myself. That's all I really care about. And obviously you never want to be a person to damage a... Um, you never want to be the person to damage a press bike. But I think I've got away lightly with this. So this is a 50 mile an hour downhill. I'm full throttle. Let's see if she can reach it. 47. Come on, 48. 49, come on, you can do it. Can you? It just seems to want to stop at 49 with me, which I don't think is bad considering it's on 55% battery. Oh, I'm loving this bike so far. Honestly, it is so fun. It really is. Bloody hell, pedestrian crossing started beeping then I thought it was the alarm on this thing. <laughs> right guys, well thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, please consider it. So many of my watchers don't hit that subscribe button. I think it's like 60% of my viewers aren't subscribers. Please, can we do something to try and change that? it means the world to me. So yeah, I'm probably in no position to tell you guys to ride safe. But until the next time, guys, take care, look after each other, and I'll see you later. Gonna do a little bit of a damage assessment on here, which looks probably the most expensive thing. There's no damage.
There's no damage on the tank. There's not even any damage down here. Nothing there. Nothing under there. I've looked at the contact point here. Again, there's nothing. Indicators, just a bit of muck. But nothing. The only place is a little bit of damage. It's just there. I think I got off lightly. I'm sorry, Sombra. <laughs>